Hey guys, um, so my lesson is called How to Construct a Kite. Um, my grade I chose is kindergarten, and it's going to be about 60 minutes long, and the unit itself is called Learning Shapes. So my concept map, um, it's kind of lame, you could say, because it's kindergarten, so um, knowledge prior to kindergarten isn't really um, a thing. So I really only have the kindergarten standards on there. Um, so it's kind of a boring concept map. But uh, my standards, I'm doing two math, two kindergarten math standards and one uh, science standard um, that I'm using within this lesson. Um, learning objectives. Students will be able to differentiate shapes by their name. Students will be able to combine shapes uh, to form a bigger shape, such as a kite. Students will be able to investigate or fly a kite and compare the pushes and pulls from the wind uh, and or the string to see the effect that these, force ha these forces have. And last one, students will be able to fly a kite. Um, the relationship to the unit is this lesson will fall into my unit as the third lesson um, and that students will have learned the shapes and their names by this point, by the third lesson. Um, concept prerequisites, students should know the names and shapes and are able to verbally match with a picture or a 3D shape. Students should know that wind and air can cause pushes and pulls on kites or stuff in the air. Um, anticipated misconceptions is students might think that a kite um, is the name for the actual shape of a diamond because we will be using diamond kites for this lesson. So um, they might not think that its real name of the shape is a diamond. It might just be a kite to them. So that's one of them. And then another one kind of obvious, but students might get the wrong names for the shapes. Um, maybe if they haven't l learned it completely yet in their own minds. Uh, for this lesson, you're going to need uh, pretty simple uh, materials. Tape to tape the triangles together. String for the tail. Um, markers if they want to color. Construction paper. Stuff like that. Um, so my before phase is about 10 minutes long. I'll play a short video. It's uh, a clip of Mary Poppins, Let's Go Fly a Kite. Thought it might be kind of cute. Uh, they could sing or dance while they watch it. Um, then after watching the video, I'm gonna ask a couple questions. Uh, what are the people in the video flying? What kind of shapes do you see? How, how did they get the kite to fly? Do you think it was windy outside uh, where they were flying the kite? Uh, during phase is about 30 minutes. So it's, I did, I kind of set it up. I do, you do, we do. So I do, I show students what an actual diamond kite looks like. Um, then I ask, has anyone ever flown a kite that looks like this? And then what I'm going to do is pull out four different types of shapes. So triangle, circle, square, and rectangle. And I'm going to kind of put them together. You'll see once you look at my lesson plan what I'm talking about. And say, let's say I put a, a circle and a triangle together. And I like present it and it's up on the board. And I'm like, does this look like the diamond kite? And hopefully the students say no. <laughs> um, but once I go through that, I'm going to show what the actual kite looks like with the four triangles. Um, then you do students will then have the opportunity for about 20 minutes to make their own kites out of the triangles that are given to them. Um, and then I will obviously walk around and monitor how that goes. And then the after phase is we do, and that's us going outside and trying to fly our kites. Um, and they'll have about 10 minutes to fly it outside and then we're gonna come back into the classroom. And then I'm gonna do a formative assessment on um, kind of getting getting the knowledge or they're investigating um, questions as to what caused the kite to fly, uh, when we pulled on the string, what happened, um, when we ran, what happened, kind of getting into that more science aspect, um, whereas the shapes are more math. So that's kind of what I have planned. And then uh, differentiation, I plan, like if, if a student needs a peer to work with or their paraeducator, um, assistive technology will be available. Students um, 
might need like hand over hand with their paraeducator in order to get the shapes um, together enough to make the kite. And then for my summative assessment for my technical, it's a whole unit. So, but this is only one lesson out of that unit. Um, students will be given like a template, I guess you could say. Well, not, I guess it is a template of shapes of different kind, like shapes of different kinds of kites. So different shapes will fit into the little template. I'll have them pre-cut and then they just place the shape um, that they, they is the same shape as the one on the paper. And then they'll tape those together and then it'll be another type of kite um, that's not a diamond kite. So hopefully that they can see the progression of kites and shapes um, with that. And I have examples provided. Um, so yeah, so there's my lesson. Uh, qu quick, actually it was a pretty good overview of it. So I hope you guys liked it. Thank you.